Good day, brothers and sisters, community, One Nation Tribal Alliance. Today, I am continuing again with our back porch talk. And today's subject is, I know, which is, we call our crown chakra in chakra. And in native, it's our crown, which is the you know, the I know part. And I know is a big two word, I guess, topic that when my elders were teaching me, you know, they were careful of how I learned this I know. And the first thing they taught me was about I know in a 3D realm. I know in this 3D world is that I know, you know, is a very strong word that you use that will turn people off. I mean, when you talk to an individual and they know everything, I know, I know, I know, and the, and the response is always, I know, it shuts you off. Well, as a spiritual person, when they say, I know, I know, I know. Don't challenge them. Redirect them, is what the elders told me. Never challenge an individual that knows everything. Just redirect them, you know. And one of the examples they gave me is that, I know how to, I know how to uh, do, do a uh, oil change. I know how to do an oil change. I know how to, okay. That's great, that's great. If you know how to do an oil change, that's great. You will, I mean, encourage them by saying, you are gonna save a lot of money because oil changes are getting costly nowadays and if you can change your own oil, just think how much money you will save. All you gotta do is, you know, buy the material and you can save a lot of money on labor because you're doing it yourself. So, you know, that's how you redirect them. But if they say, I know, I know, I know, and I, and you ask them, okay, well, good. You know, and, and you just let them talk about them knowing, them knowing, chances are they really don't know how to do it in detail because if you continue to listen to them, as they're talking about, you know, again, with all change, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna start explaining themselves of how to do an all change. And then sooner or later, you're gonna realize that, you know, if you know how, how the oil changes are done and you're listening to them, and again, they catch themselves, you know, getting out of sequence. You know, they may say, well, you take the oil filter off and then you take that plug off and then you, you know, drain the oil. Well, um, if you take the filter off, the oil is going to come out of that filter too. I mean, what, how are you going to catch that oil drip from the filter? Or, you know, uh, but, you know, if you already know how to do the oil change and they say, I know, I know, and they start all that, just allow them. Allow them because when, when you allow the 3D I know and they end up not doing it right, you know, consequences are more costly than anything else but in the spiritual realm the I know part is your own personal thing what I mean by thing is that your own personal experience I know I know I have my creator my my father up there not up there but around me you know, when they say, I know my father is up there in heaven. I know my father is, you know, up there in the kingdom. I, I know, I know. And, and they told me, don't think that way. The father is everywhere. The father is everywhere. Look at the creation. Look around you. You don't see his creation. You don't, you don't think he's down here with his creation stuff. Us, we're his creation. You don't think he's with us? All we have to do is connect with them because our Father is with us all the time. He is our presence. That I mean, I won't quote a scripture. It says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. 
you know. So what does that mean? I will never leave you nor forsake you. Meaning that he's around here. All we have to do is connect. And that's the whole thing behind being in the spiritual I know part is to connect not only with father, but with mother, mother earth. We're walking on mother earth. We're on mother earth. And as it says, you know, we need to realize the I know in the spiritual realm that it's personal, it's within us. Nobody else can do it for us, but ourselves. And once you get that feeling, once you understand the I know part in the spiritual realm, you know, you, you start connecting. And by connecting, you will see that you will find out a lot of things that are planned out for you. And that's when you start seeking your inner journey. When you start connecting, you know, start seeking your inner journey. You know, one of the things that I've been experiencing, I guess for the past year, is that every night I, I, I can go to bed, no matter how tired I am, I go to bed. And finally, well, and at three o'clock in the morning, boom, my eyes be awoken. I wake up and, you know, I say, well, maybe I just need to go use the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom, use the bathroom, and go back to bed and try to go to sleep again from waking up. And chances are it would take a good 30 minutes to an hour to go back to sleep. And, you know, at first my excuse was, oh, I'm getting old. That's just part of the things getting old. You know, you gotta get up and use the bathroom every so often during the night. So maybe that's why I'm getting up. But as I was told in the past, if you are woken up at three o'clock in the morning, chances are they want to talk to you. Connect. Connect. Because if you accept to be here on a mission on Mother Earth, you will accept to connect. You know, and you know, so in our mind, you know, what does it look like when we know? What does it look like when we connect? Well, what it looks like to me is that I feel the compassion. I feel the love of Mother Earth because she's nurturing me. I feel the healing that she's giving me, you know. Father, I feel the love and the healing that he is giving me to continue his mission because he don't want a broken car out there trying to do a mission. No, he wants a full car, well equipped, well running vehicle out there doing it. You know, I am doing, you know, my mission, you know, you know, as I am, I'm not going to say and have self-pity on me if I can't walk or if I'm sick, if I'm this and that. I can't do that, you know. I know that my spirit will heal the body. You know, sometimes we, we look at it this way. I look at it this way. When... My elders told me, when you feel sick, hurt, whatever, and you know you have a mission, get up and do the mission and watch the illness go away. Watch the dark run away from your body. You will self-heal yourself as you're doing your mission because you're not giving up. Just moving forward, you know, and whatever the attachments are, sickness, cold, whatever, 
they're going to run away from you because you are doing the Father's mission. You know, in my mind, get your mind strong to where you can do all that. And, you know, you also have to look at it as in the mind, when you know you have to seek to say, how am I going to carry this 5D life, 5th dimension life on a 3D world? Well, you carry it by your energy of love, of compassion, of understanding, of being peaceful and giving credit to who you are connected to, father, mother, and you the vessel. The whole trinity will be, you know, connected to do all that. And the whole trinity will get connected, father, mother, body, you. So, in spirit, that's what I mean, connecting using the trinity you know, your mind, body, and soul. Connect all three as you go into the I know part because, you know, your mind and your body, if you allow your spirit to control your body and then two of them can get to control the mind, your connection, you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with staying connected. And you just can't be connected. Like, you know, a lot of, you know, as we say, a lot of religions do. You know, I'm not being negative about anything, but I've read in some of the things that Oh, we had a wonderful, wonderful, you know, religious event. I experienced a wonderful blessing. Now I got to get back to work. Now it's back to the to the world. Now it's back to the city. I've done my duties, my spiritual duties. Now it's time to go back to the city life. That's not the way it should be. When you get done connecting, you know, don't let it end there. Stay connected. And if you feel you're not connected, get back and get connected. It doesn't take long to get back connected. So in the spiritual realm, you know, in the spiritual realm, when you are connected, you know, There are several things you know when you are connected in the spiritual realm. First of all, you know, if you're living in the spiritual realm and something ain't, ain't right happens in front of you or it's going to happen in front of you, you get a gut feeling. What does that gut feeling look like? You know, why does why is your body reacting? Because your spirit already knows what it's fixing to get challenged with. So you get that gut feeling to maybe redirect you. You know, sometimes again, you're in a rush to go to work, you're in rush, 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 and you go outside and something happens to slow you down. And automatically a lot of people will start get mad, cussing, everything because they know they're going to be late for work and everything in the whole nine yards. Well, it's really not a big situation if you communicate. If you're in the spiritual realm, you can look at it many different ways. You can say, okay, it's slowing me down. Maybe I need to slow down. Let me communicate the situation to my supervisors. Tell them what's going on. They will understand the situation. I have a flat tire. Let me fix my flat tire. I may be coming in 
15 to 20 minutes behind my scheduled time. If you have an appointment, call ahead. I'm scheduled for an appointment at nine o'clock. This is what I'm encountering. This is so cold. I can either be late or reschedule. You know, communicate. Spiritual realm. If the spirit say he's trying to protect you, maybe he put that flat tire so he will avoid what was to happen. Remember, we live the now. The spirit is ahead of us. Spirit knows. Now, when we connect, we need to let our spirit know. The other one is, again, which is the same, almost the gut feeling is almost the same as your, you know, intuition. If you have a very intuitive mind, you know, all I can say is, you know, be, op be open, don't be judgmental, and follow your intuition. You know, because it's there to present ahead of us and when it presents itself yeah it might present mysteriously but accept it because if you're in a 3D world you are so busy with everything else to where sometimes we ignore our gut feeling and our intuition and we get in trouble the consequences would be mild, harsh, or just plain heavy. So, follow your gut feeling, follow your intuition. Now, the third one about spiritual, I know is what they told me is your dream or your vision. Well, I say, okay, what is the difference between my dream and my vision? Okay, your dream is showing you. It's showing you maybe instructions. You know, a lot of people, a lot of us, are either hands-on learners, audio learners, or visual learners. And that's why a dream comes in. Dream will take care of two out of three, which is showing you. And not only is it showing you, you're actually seeing it. You probably are doing it in a dream. And the dream, you know, again, showing you is basically telling you this is what's to, to happen or this is how you should respond. A vision is a quest, is a journey. It's a spiritual, you know, I guess, traveling or challenge or whatever. When you have a vision, you know, visions are more uh, powerful, but yet we always like to challenge our visions. A dream, we can take it, our instructions, and we could let it go or we could keep it. You know, a lot of people, when they first wake up, oh, I dreamed about this. I, they talk about their dreams, which is good because they're learning from their dreams. They're being instructed in their dreams because once they say talk about their dream, they say, okay, it's telling me this and they will understand what their dream was instructing them to do showing them what to do but a vision is instructing you 
You need to do it this way. Not your way, but the spiritual way. And that's what the elders would tell me. When you go on your vision quest, find out really what you're meant to do. I didn't have to go on a lot of vision quests because being awoke, I've already received my mission and already had my gifts. The modalities that was taught to me is just, again, protection, cleansing, and understanding. So, in the spiritual realm of I know, look at these things. Because on the self part, the self part on, on you is, I know is your self-control. I know my self-control. If you know your self-control, for every action, how do you react? Do you react in a spiritual way or do you react in a third dimensional world way? This reaction would tell a lot of people about your spiritual ways. If you are continually connected every day spiritually, it's hard to stay connected spiritually 24 seven, but Practice, practice, practice will keep you going, connected. And believe me, people will look at your reaction. If you are a spiritual person, people will look at you under a microscope rather than through their eyes. They're looking deep down in you because, you know, they're trying to figure out the negative side of you before they try to figure out, understand your positive side. And that's why I was told you can do a hundred things positive. People will see it, but you do one thing negative, people will tear it up. We take that one thing and run with it. And your hundred things will just go down and you will have to bring that back up. But when you bring it back up, you have to do twice or three or ten times better than before to get up to that same level again. So when you are spiritually connected and you know you are, my elders tell me that take these things that we teach you and you are the example. You are a leader. You are a representative. You are mother and father. And I will talk about that on my next video about, about it because this is getting to a point to where we have to know who we are. Remember the first shraka, I am. I know and I am. To get to the know part, you gotta understand who you are. But we'll get to that when we get to it. But right now, I'm just sharing with you some of these things that the elders would talk to me about because we need to know we need to understand, you know, who we are, what we are. And what we know is very important. We know that if there's a creator, we need to understand that the creator is within us. We need to understand that we are. We are the connection for the creator and mother because look at the creator, creator, you can look around. I can look around and every tree is different. There's, I don't know how many trees are standing out here, but I can look at them 
every tree is different just like every single hair in your head is different that the creator has created I don't think he created the same thing in your body even though your eyes there's two of them I bet you they're different somehow even your ears are different somehow you know there are a lot of things that would come in pair the right and the left arms you know people say they're different they are if you stretch your arms out and if you measure your arms one side be shorter than the other you know not one thing is same that the creator has created you know even the twins they're not the same I can go on but anyway I just want to stop there to say that let's work on I know I know I love you all and again this is my back porch talk and I will reach down and turn the button off as I close and say I love you all y'all have a wonderful day